Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm here in beautiful downtown Orlando at Lake Eola in a district we call Thornton Park, which is our neighborhood. In honor of March 31st, which is Transgender Day of Visibility, I'm about to walk around this park and ask a bunch of strangers if they know anything about transgender people. My name is Maya. What's your name? Stefan. Carlin. Carlin. Nice to meet you. Emily. Emily? Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Emily and Mickey. Nice to meet you. So you're Evan, you said? Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Maya. Deanna. Deanna. I have a YouTube channel, as I was saying, and I, I do videos on LGBT topics. Mm -hmm. This particular week, because March 31st, is Transgender Day of Visibility. I don't know if you know that. Did you know that? No. Okay. I don't know if you were aware of that. Oh. It's what is that? Mm. Okay, I'm glad you asked. There aren't very many transgender people in the world, so it's not that uncommon to meet people who've never met a transgender yeah. person. That's what Transgender Day of Visibility is about, it's about the same. Because sometimes you know a transgender person and you don't even realize that they're yeah. transgender until okay. they come out later on and say, hey, I'm transgender. So do you know what it is to be transgender? Yes. yes. Okay, and what is it? When you're born with a certain genital makeup and then you change the genital makeup, but... Um, that's basically what I feel like, it's transgender. That's very interesting because a lot of people have that same impression that it's about... No, no, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And you're very nice. Can I hug you? All right, okay. I don't want to make you think that I am in any way angry. No. But a lot of people have this conception of being transgender as uh, your genital makeup, as you were saying. Okay. When it really doesn't have to do with that so much. With someone who's one gender but they feel like they belong as the other gender. They transition to have. Yeah. Basically, not agreeing with your biological sex. That's right. Very good. I won't ask you because you just heard his answer. Yeah. You were cheating. Yeah. Do you know any transgender people? I do. You do? Yes. Uh, one from where I used to live. Really? You don't know any transgender people? Two, maybe. Two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. When I used to work at a restaurant, he was like a came off as like visually male and then right. he would wear like dresses sometimes. Right, really, right. Really, really nice dresses. Like really dressy and makeup and Impressed. high heels. Wow. And then, okay. I won't wear high heels. And when I was on a dating website, somebody uh, picked me up. So right, that's right, so right. Not male or female, female or male, oh, or male anything in between. Isn't that interesting? That's the way it goes. It's like <laughs> I know a lot of gay guys, they know a lot of male to females. And yeah. lesbians tend to know a lot of females to males. Yeah. And I think it's because male to female sometimes identify as gay men first, and a lot of female to male sometimes identify yeah, as lesbians. Yeah. Are you aware of this transgender bathroom debate that's going on? Well, yeah, I did. Well, I seen it. Um, what is it? In North South Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. They were talking about we're gonna have a transgender bathroom. What are your feelings about a person who's transgender using the bathroom of the gender with which they identify? I guess I I struggle to understand why it's. A you know, should you have the right to go use the bathroom. Do you feel that it's okay for, let's say, if somebody identifies as female for them to use the women's room or somebody identifies as male for them to use the men's room? Yeah? Yeah. I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem with that? So if someone male to female, if they were in the ladies' room right here, you'd be like, yeah. Whatever. That's you identify fine. as a woman. That's how they feel like. There's no problem with me. No problem with you? Yeah. I was talking to all. So when I walked in my bathroom and there were like the other female transgender, like I would not care at all. If a transgender guy were to walk and go in the bathroom with you, would that bother you in any way? No, no. not me. You don't want to use the bathroom with anybody else. Do you ever feel personally threatened if you've seen a transgender person in the bathroom, or would you feel threatened? If somebody wants to do something wrong, they'll do it. Doesn't matter what. I think that's a good. Good way of looking at it. Thank you very much. Well, there's some people who say making transgender people use a certain bathroom, like their own bathroom, is yeah. a little bit like, you know, in the 60s, there were like colored only bathrooms yeah, yeah. and white only bathrooms. Mm. You know, that's a little bit of discrimination and segregation. Yeah, yeah it is. It is discrimination. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's used to distract people from other things. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Oh, it, was, you. it was great for you. By the way, I'm transgender. Oh, I'm transgender, by the way. So now okay. you have met somebody who's transgender. Awesome. All right. Cool. My name is Maya. Probably I am transgender myself. Okay. So you now have made a transition. Okay. Really? Yeah. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. Yeah. So there you have it. A lot more people knew about transgender issues than I thought would be the case. 
a lot more people knew transgender people than I thought was possible. I suspect there are a lot more of us out there than people realize. So on that note, happy Transgender Day of Visibility. Like, share, and subscribe, and see you around the interwebs.